Lassa Kira, and welcome back to another advent calendar opening. Today, I'll be opening day 6 through 10, and yesterday I opened day 1 through 5. I'll post that video link in the description box below for those of you who hasn't seen it. But we gotta open 6 through 10, and I'm really, 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 really excited, especially the Simpsom um, advent calendar, because so far I'm loving it a lot. So without further ado, let's get started! So we're going to get started with our Disney Simpson mini plush advent calendar. We already opened day 1 through 5 and I'll link that video in the description box below for those of you who hasn't seen it. But now I'm really really excited about opening day 6 through 10. So let's get it started. Here is day 6. Who's this? Is this another Oswald? Who's this? Is this Goofy? Oh it's Goofy! Oh my goodness! Oh, I think he's supposed to be a nutcracker. He's so cute. Do you see the blushing on his cheeks? So they embroidered his facial detail, like his nose and eyes, of course. But he, they also embroidered on these little blushings on him. I think they're so cute. And also he has his long ears, of course. And his hat is actually stuffed. So it's nice and um, poofy. The details on the hat is quite nice too. And then he has his trumpet right here. He has his nutcracker outfit. And I just love it. I mean, the color scheme, because this is supposed to be an advent calendar, is of course Christmassy. He's so cute. I think these little blushings just made him look like 200% cuter. So cute! Moving on to day 7. Oh, we got Marie! We got Marie from Aristocats! And I know Marie is a very popular character and she looks absolutely adorable. She has her blushings, of course. Her whiskers are embroidered on, her nose, her eyes, and her eyelashes are also embroidered on. This one actually has double bow. So you can see that she has this like hair fluff. And then she has a hair bow, which is red. The inner part of her ears are in light pink. And then on the back, you can see that she has this gigantic bow with a bell felt cutout, which is quite metallic and nice. And then the string detail is embroidered on. She's so cute. I love her fluffy tail too. She's adorable. I love how you get like really, really fancy one like this goofy and then you get like more simplified one, but really, really cute one like this Marie. Okay, moving on to day eight. Day eight. Chip! Chip! It's Chip in a sock! Is it a Christmas sock? Oh, did Santa leave you in a Christmas sock? Are you are you a gift to someone? He is so cute! You can see that there is a fuzzy detail, which unfortunately does not connect to the bottom, but that kind of makes sense. This having this like suede material on the belly part is kind of like the Simpson thing, so it totally makes sense. He has all the details like stitched on and also embroidered on. There is a snowflake detailing embroidered on the sock. There's not much to talk about for this one, but it's just absolutely cute. Oh, Chip. So cute. Okay, now moving on to day nine. Who is in here? Oh, it's Dale. Of course, Chip and Dale. Oh, and of course, Dale is also in a sock, which actually matches Chip but the colors are inverted and the snowflake detail is a little different. You can see, well, not a little different, but they're different snowflakes. But yeah, the rest of it is quite similar. Um, so Dale actually has more expression on his face compared to Chip. Here, I'll give you guys a comparison between these two. You can see that Dale has a little more um, expression. They're so cute. Finally, we get to number 10, which is the last Simpson mini plush we are going to be opening from our advent calendar today. I mean, and then we have our second advent calendar to open, of course, but let's go ahead. Oh, it's Lady! Oh, and she matches with Marie. Oh my goodness, she is so cute too. So here is Lady. She has fuzzy ears, of course, and her detail are embroidered on her face like her eyelashes her eyes and her nose she actually has two dark hair bows on her head and then she has this gigantic bow red bow on top of her with a felt cut out in a shape of a bell which is in metallic felt material and then the ribbon detailing is embroidered on she has her little tail here too if you can see um actually compared to marie her 
bow is much smaller. You can see that they have the same sized bells, but then Marie's bow is much bigger compared to ladies. Here are my day 6 through 10 um, advent calendar Simpson mini plushies I got from my advent calendar. I think my favorite from these five is definitely Goofy. I really love the details on that one. And of course, like I said, the blushing just makes him look even cuter. But I also really like how Marie and Lady is matching and Chip and Dale's matching. I think that was clever too. Now let's move on to our second advent calendar, which is Disney Simpson vinyl advent calendar by Jack. Pacific. So here goes our second advent calendar. Let's find day six and oh, it's actually way up top on the right side right here. Day six. Okay, let's open this one. Oh, we got a medium-sized figure and we got Daisy this time. This one actually reminds me of the um, Christmas version that they released at Target. The the um, mini plush. I think the design of this figure is really adorable and I know like I have my camera setting quite bright so it doesn't show as much but there is a lot of red um, paint bleeding even on Daisy's forehead. It really doesn't show that much on my camera in, in the video but it, it's quite bad. <laughs> this is quite disappointing. It's yeah. She also has blushing, and I really like the snowflake detailing on her little scarf thingy. Just, I'm a little disappointed with the paint job, but otherwise, I think this figure is quite cute. Now, moving on to day 7. Where is day 7? Day 7. Oh, I see him. I see day 7. It's all the way down there by Ham. Right here. So, day 7. Oh, and we got a mini figure, and this one is... Um, Figaro, which is the cat from Pinocchio. So just like Minnie Marie we got before, this one is also exactly the same. Except this one has glitter on top. And it's not like glitter all over the figure either. It's only on the top. So it's a little disappointing. You can see that he has blushing. So yep, here is Figaro. Now moving on to day 8. I have day 8 right in the corner over here with Mickey. So let's open this one. Oh, we got a big figure! Here we got a big figure of Lady. Again, here is Lady and the vinyl figure itself looks exactly the same as their regular release. I think honestly, this advent calendar is quite good for someone who hasn't started collecting them yet. So if you want to start your collection with this advent calendar, I think that's a good choice. But for someone who's been already collecting, I don't know if it's really worth it. Um, but anyway, Lady comes with this green and white scarf accessory that you can detach. So if if you want to put this scarf on some other figure of yours, you can totally do that. So yep, here is a closer look on this figure and the accessory. Oh, and she also has a bit of blushing, but it doesn't show that much. Day 8 done! Where is day 9? Day 9. Oh, day 9 is... Over here. Here is day 9. And it looks like we got another mini figure. <gasps> no, we got Ariel! Oh! So this one actually works for me because I don't have minifigure of Ariel yet. But I would assume that this one looks exactly the same as a regular Ariel. I might be wrong. I just can't say it for sure because I don't have Ariel yet. But here she is. She also has glitter all over the top. This one actually has better painting compared to the other ones. She has her little hair accessory star over there. She has blushing also. So here is minifigure of Ariel. Now we just have to open one more. Where is day 10? Day 10 is is over here by Dale and Alien and Pluto. So, oh, and it's a pretty big one. What is this? Oh, it's an accessory. What is this? I'm not too sure what this is. So there were two pieces in the bag and I'm quite sure this one goes like this. No? No? Like this? I'm confused. Oh, like this. Okay, so let's just snap this. Come on. Okay. And I'm not too sure what this is. Oh, I think it's supposed to be a present box that is open. So this one could actually stack on top of a large figure. Like so. And then you can put another figure inside. That's actually a pretty cute idea. I just don't know how it would balance because this piece is quite heavy. So for me, I wasn't able to balance this 
present accessory on top of lady maybe there is a way to do it it just kept on falling to the side so i couldn't balance it on top but yeah let me know if you guys were able to balance it if you have this advent calendar out of these five i don't know i i can't really say which one is my favorite because i'm not Mm, I would have to say probably Ariel because I don't have her yet But I'm not too fond of the whole glitter detail I'm not always too happy with the glittery collectibles because the glitter tends to be really sticky and they fall out really quickly So so far I'm not too happy with this advent calendar So if they were to come out with another one next year, I don't know if I will try Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below And of course I'm not trying to complain but I'm just being honest here as a collector and a toy reviewer so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and i'll be back with another video on opening from day 11 through day 15 as always thank you guys so much for watching until next time